Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's the 15th day of February 2021, the first day of our finals week for the first block. Since Monday ngayon, meron kami synchronous classes sa mga courses or subjects namin. Mm, yung dalawa kanina, nag-reschedule sila bukas, Tuesday. So, bale dalawa lang yung klase namin ngayon. Toxicology, lab, and internet of things. Um, every Monday lang kasi kami mayroong synchronous classes and the rest of the week um, asynchronous na. So yung dalawa, bukas na lang sila magkaklase. So an oras na? 11.30 na. 11.32. Yung class namin sa top 6, um, mag-start siya ng 12.15. So see you later. Bye! Hi again. Since di pa nagsistart yung klase, I'll explain ano ba yung blocking system. Baka kasi nagtataka kayo. Hmm, February pa lang, start pa lang yung SEM and may finals week na agad kami. Hmm, sa CEU, nahati yung isang SEM sa 4 blocks. Hmm, Nag-start lang to noong August 2020, first SEM. Yan, doon nag-start. Kasi nga nung nagkaroon ng pandemic and nag-shift na tayo sa online classes, medyo mahirap na kapag sabay-sabay lahat ng subjects mo ititake all at once. Hindi ko alam kung may ganito din sa ibang school, pero both sa CEU, sa college, and sa senior high, Central Scholar Integrated School, um, ganito yung system namin ngayon. So, paano ba nagbo-work yung blocking system? Yung blocking system, hinati niya yung isang SEM into 4 blocks. Kada isang block, um, nagkakansin siya ng 4 weeks, 4 weeks, 4 weeks, 4 weeks, 4 weeks, to finish yung subjects na napunta sa block na yan. So, in our case, third year pharmacy, second SEM, meron kaming 16 subjects in total. Kasama na dun yung lecture and lab. So, madidistribute yung 16 subjects na yon sa mga blocks na to. So, 4 subjects kada block. 4, 4, 4, 4. So, to make it 16. So, kada isang block, 4 weeks. Sa 4 weeks na yon kailangan nyo na matapos yung subject na na-assign sa block na yon So, ito yung mga tinitake ko na subject. Pakita natin. So, sa first block, meron pharmaceutical, marketing, and entrepreneurship, toxicology, lecture, and lab, and then internet of things. After four weeks, mag-shift na tayo to second block. Pagdating sa second block, um, ang subject ko na ay undergraduate, research to, lecture, and lab, interprofessional education and practice, tapos public health, pharmacy, and pharmacoepidemiology. So, after four weeks ulit, third block na. Sa third block, ito naman yung subjects ko. Legal Pharmacy and Ethics, Hospital Pharmacy Lab, Health Technology Assessment, Health Policy and Pharmacoeconomics, and then Hospital Pharmacy. After ng 4 weeks ulit, block 4 na. Sa block 4 naman, Cosmetic Product Development Lecture and Lab, Clinical Pharmacy and Pharmacotherapeutics 2 Lecture and Lab. So, yun. Matatapos nyo na 16 subjects after nun. So, pakita natin dito yung schedule ko. Yan. So, magpo-fall yung block 1, January to February. Tapos, merong um, few days na gap between the blocks para makapagpahinga konti. So, block 2 is March to April. Block 3 is April to May. And then, block 4 is May to June. So, ganun nag-work yung blocking system. So, technically, kada buwan, meron kaming finals week. So, kung nagtataka kayo kung bakit lagi na lang midterms week, finals week, ito yung dahilan. So, every month, every month, merong finals, merong midterms. So, every two weeks, um, nag-exam kami. After two weeks, midterms. After two weeks, finals. So, four weeks, isang block. Yun yun. Sana nag-gets nyo. Nakatulong ako. See you later sa klase ko. Bye! So, if you'll ask kung mahirap ba dahil yung dapat yung pag-aralan sa isang subject sa loob ng isang SEM ay pagkakasyahin nyo lang in one month, yes, mahirap siya kasi compact na. Um, one month lang dapat matapos nyo na siya. When dati, 
uh, meron kayong one sem para sa subject na yun. Mm, pero okay lang din kasi nakapag, nakapag-focus ka sa limited lang na subjects. And, and sa tingin ko, parang mas mahirap naman kung nag-online classes and itetake namin yung 16 subjects all at once. Parang nakakawindang naman yan na masyadong marami. Yan. Much, much, much later. First, the allergic reaction. Okay? So, yan. Ah, ang thing pa dito sa histamine na to, hindi siya na, um, tawag ito, hindi siya, um, high resistant siya, heat resistant siya. So, kahit iluto mo, um, itong mga, itong mga fish na to, as long as mataas yung histamine level niya. Pag nakain siya ng mga person na hindi nagmanagabilize ng, histamine ng maayos, pwede magkaroon ng reaction. So, yan. Nitikarya, erythna, skin rashes, ganyan. Even sa cheese and soul, pwede sensitivity ng mga pagkain natin. So, it may cause then mga um, allergic reactions. Specific. Ang dami may allergy sa inyo. Trim. Trim. Eat all you can. <laughs> Tapos lang ang first class namin today, Toxic Lab, yung nakita nyo yung clips kanina. And now, meron kaming one hour break. Papanoodin ko muna yung mga pending videos ko sa IoT, Internet of Things, bago mag-start yung klase namin sa kanya mamaya. So, next class namin, IoT. See you later! all of them, all the competitors will follow the price. Okay? Or pag sinet mo siya ng mas mataas, the competitors also will follow the price. Especially if you are considered to be the market leader. Okay? So again, pag sinabing market leader, okay, they, are, they are the innovators. Okay? But most of the time, of course, a company will not sell the product below its cost. And you have applied it to research, then you have the uh, uh, advantage of increasing your price. Then implement the price. When you say implement the price, non-negotiable. Okay. Monitor patient and competitors' response also in terms of uh, demand, cost, and competitor and your competitor responses. When you say in terms of competitor's response, pag, uma, pag binabaan ng competitor mo yung kanyang presyo, babaan mo din. Or else, if you refuse to lower down your professional fee, then your customers will go to your competitors. much much later vlog kanina kasi ang dami namin ginagawa sa, sa minor subject namin internet of things 11.55 na and sinesave ko lang yung presentation na inedit namin kanina and yung paper, final paper namin 
ang project proposal para sa subject na to. Kita ko sa inyo. Yan yung presentation. Tapos, ito yung paper. Kita natin. 1157 na. Kita natin sa tabs natin. Canvas, love struck in the city. I love so beautiful. YouTube quiz is Netflix, Canva, Canva. The next day. Day four. Hello vlog, life update. It's Friday, 11 p.m. Di ako pag vlog today kasi finals kanina sa dalawa naming subjects, marketing tsaka toxicology lab. Hindi ko na napakita yun, syempre bawal yun ipakita. And ngayon nagre-review lang ako para sa final exam namin bukas sa toxicology lek. Di kami nag-exam sa minor namin, Internet of Things. Meron lang kaming task na ginawa para doon. And that will serve as our finals. And tomorrow will be the last day of Black One. So, kita-kits. Bye!